Let me give you a good example. Every house produces garbage. We buy stuff, we import stuff, we use them, we have garbage. At the end of the week, we put the garbage in the garbage bin, we take the gar garbage bin outside, the government or council takes the garbage and takes it away from my house and your house and society. Why? Because if the garbage stays in the home, it creates illness and bacteria and diseases. Society also has garbage. You have murderers, criminals, and then you have filthy garbage ideology where someone says, you're a woman, you should stay at home. Or someone says, you're a woman, you need to cover, your whole body is a private part, right? You need to cover up. Or someone says, uh, this guy's a Jew, this guy's a Christian, they need to be, you know, uh, dealt with. This ideology is a filthy ideology. It cannot be respected. Funny enough, the IRGC cannot operate in Saudi Arabia. Their supporters cannot have bank accounts in the UAE. The other extremist groups like the Muslim Brotherhood who are friends with the IRGC and Hezbollahi people, they cannot operate in Bahrain, in Oman. These are Muslim countries. Where do they operate? In London, in France, in Washington, Washington DC, in Australia, in Canada, Toronto. They operate here, they have bank accounts, they register charity, right? So Macron, the president of France, recently said the Islamic world is in a crisis. In my opinion, yeah, we do have problems. We do have Boko Haram, we have Al-Qaeda, we have Taliban, we have problems. But the broader picture, Islam is very successful, it's growing very fast. And we're doing really well. Dubai is not in a crisis. Abu Dhabi, the UAE, Bahrain, Oman, Kuwait, there's no crisis there. The Muslim countries are doing good there. Only some places there's a problem. I say, no, you are in a crisis. You went to the Muslim countries and you imported the garbage that the Muslim countries wanted to put in prison or isolate away from society. You went and you imported them. Why? For cheap labor. But these Islamist extremists, they don't want to work. They want free welfare. They want to marry French women, blonde hair, blue eyes. They don't have time to work. So look at Poland. They don't complain from Islamic extremism, not a single terrorist attack in Poland. The moment they sense there's a problem, they crack down on it. Polish policy, beautiful. The French, no. When they come, they use the resources. They go to uh, Washington DC and they sit in Congress. They support the Iranian regime. They go against the sanctions in Congress, right? With their hijab. Why? Because the ideology is filth to begin with. When you import that or you allow it in or you amplify it or you glorify it in any way, you make your bed, sleep in it. So that is also a problem of the West. The question is, Tina, did the extremists become stronger or the West become weaker? I say it's both.